Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Cattails. In the last episode, we enjoyed some of the final days of autumn, and now that winter is upon us, our kittens should be literally just around the corner. So now all we have left to do is make some of our very final preparations as we give Scout all of the rabbits that we've amassed over the seasons. We're actually getting a little bit low on the stash, which is uh, not too good to see in the winter time because it will be tricky for us to hunt down those hares. But I know that we have at least one more black hare waiting for us on uh, our little pathway up to the Highland Lake. Oh, and interestingly enough, it looks like somebody's trying to cut off our pathway. Somebody's trying to take this over so we can't get up to the highlands. Do you think that might be the mountain colony? We are super close to both of their borders, so it really could be either of them. I wonder if there's even a chance that we could run into like a battle between all of the colonies? Can you imagine how chaotic that would be? But in a place where everybody is so close together, it probably wouldn't be out of the question. We'll just have to make sure that we have enough uh, herbs to take with us, of course, because we won't be able to find them out and about in the world anymore. That's why we have such a big stash over in the corner. I'm glad you still put up with my antics. You must really love me, and that's great because I really love you too. Of course we do, Scout, and we can't wait until our kittens are finally here. I feel like it might be a good idea for us to maybe take a Amethyst with us today. I know she's not particularly the battling sort, but she is very, very lucky, as we have learned. And I feel like we'll need a little bit of extra luck on our side if we want a nice big litter of kittens. So that means Aqua and Smokey, you guys are going to get a little bit of a rest today, which I'm sure you're very, very happy about because it is quite cold outside. Hopefully Missy's den is nice and warm for you to stay in. And she's still thinking about getting her fur dyed. That seems to be the most common piece of dialogue from Missy. Now that it's the uh, winter time, though, I wonder if Sarge would take a little bit more notice of Missy. Her fur color right now is probably really complimented by the season. Swiping at snowflakes is good practice for fighting. Oh, interesting. Maybe we could ask Sarge to uh, help train our kittens in the future. It sounds like he has some pretty good games up his sleeve. My favorite color is orange and it has been for quite some time now. Yeah, he loves the color of marigolds because it reminds him of all of his healing remedies. And I think that's really sweet that his favorite color is connected to curing the cats of the forest. Doc is definitely a cutout for his role. This is exactly where he's meant to be. And Ember, we do have some uh, little bits and bobs to sell off to you as we try to gain enough Mews to hopefully get that extra inventory expansion. We desperately, desperately need it. It might be a bit easier for us to wander the world without filling our pockets now because there's not quite so much to catch in the winter. But if we want to take another mining trip before the season is over, something to uh, bring even more treasures and trinkets in for the kittens, then we might want to have a bit of extra space in our pockets for it first. Now, I don't think Lyris is up yet today, so I am going to head off toward uh, this battle over by the Prairie Quarry just to see what's going on over there. I am very, very curious if uh, maybe the Mystic Colony is trying to get in on this territory expansion. They've been very quiet so far about the whole thing, so it's interesting to see them react now. We had a battle up toward the fairy wood too, so we might as well check this out as well, just for the extra muse. I'm wondering if it's actually going to be a little bit easier for us to uh, maybe just battle for our muse in the winter. I mean, there are so few animals for us to hunt down, and it seems like there are a lot of cats in the fairy wood trying to follow our lead. They know that this is where Penny finds all of her birds to sell for the muse. So I guess they're trying to find some extra morsels to take back to the territory. Oh my gosh! And there's one of the many, many bunnies that we've hunted down and haven't been able to take back to the den thanks to our lack of inventory space. So I guess uh, that'll be a little surprise for us every time we happen to find one. But let's try to uh, take out the mountain colony before we get too far ahead of ourselves. These cats are pretty wiry today, especially for uh, such a cold season. And hello, 
Soldier, you look almost exactly like Scout. He just has some um, blood red eyes instead. Can we stop and talk to you? Maybe this is like a Scout's distant relative. It's interesting that they both have such similar names too, Scout and Soldier. If you hum a merry little tune, you can march for hours without feeling weariness on your feet. Oh, that's pretty good advice. So mysterious too. I really want to know if he's related to a scout. Maybe we'll see him a little bit more often once we have a kittens of our own. I'm sure they would like to meet Cousin Soldier if he takes the time to stop by. Only have some more bunnies down here to catch. So that's good. It seems like the bunnies and the doves so far have been uh, the most common creatures for us to find in the winter season. So they're still around, they're much more scarce than they were, but at least uh, they're not completely gone. Now we want to go to the prairie quarry to get to our next battle. So I guess uh, maybe the reason why the cats are trying to take over that tile is because they want all of those treasures for themselves. We're not too concerned about the quarry. I know it would be nice to have that under our control, but our main concern is always going to be the Highland Lake. Whichever kitten takes it over will have to learn how to defend themselves if they want to keep this place. Because look how many of the mystic cats have come to try to take it for themselves! Oh my gosh, this is one of the first times that we've actually had to summon our allies to uh, take care of one of these gigantic battles since we became a master hunter. But in the process, we have gained quite a few mews. So thank you very much for uh, coming to our aid, Thunder. I've been told I need to practice my tracking skills. I followed some paw prints all the way here. Were they yours? Yeah, they probably were, little guy. Thank you for uh, coming to our rescue. If you hadn't followed our paw prints, then we might have been in a little bit of trouble. It's probably a good time for us to start using our diplomacy skills a little bit more actively, too. So let's try to find the next tile where uh, we haven't taken over it completely. And we have to pick up this bunny as well. There you are. My little black hair will bring you back to the den, and I'm sure Scout will be very, very happy to munch on you for breakfast. So, uh, oh, a crow. Okay, we have to try to get the crows too. Penny would love to stuff her pockets with birds, but unfortunately that one got away. So I think the tile straight up ahead, the Highland South, is the first area that we need to uh, take over with our diplomacy skills. There we go, we're getting there, slowly but surely. And as soon as this tile is under our control, we can start working on the uh, other Highland areas. We're also going to be completely cutting off the forest colony from uh, the Highland East and South, which is quite interesting too. Leo is going to lose a lot of territory this way, and it seems as if he may have already heard because he's sending out the reinforcements to come after Pennycat. But unfortunately, just one cat, one little dusty cat is not going to be enough to deter Penny from her mission. I think we'll have to try to uh, actually sharpen Penny's diplomacy skills if we gain enough experience points over the next few days. That would probably be a good one for us to uh, focus on next, after she did so well increasing her foraging skills before. Now seems like a good time as any for her to learn to talk her way to a uh, world domination. And did I see? Yeah, I actually did. Way down here in the corner, there's one of these uh, power paws waiting for us inside the rock. Excellent, you found a power paw. You are filled with vigor by the ancient token. Your maximum health has increased. 155 health points. So I guess we'll have to do a little bit more exploring around uh, the highlands anyway. Alright guys, it looks like uh, quite a few more reinforcements are coming out for us now. They must have had their eyes on the uh, power paw. Something tells me they were nosing around this area for the exact reason. But yeah, I guess we haven't actually explored this area very much. Despite Penny's love for the Highlands, there are quite a few treasures that we're missing. So we'll follow this area down toward the south and see if there's anything else for us to discover. Any other little paw prints in the snow? Or maybe some more of those totems too. I'm pretty sure there was one totem that would only talk to us in the uh, wintertime. We saw that little snowflake symbol right on top of its head. 
so I wouldn't be surprised if it's waiting for us to answer all of its riddles. In fact, this might be it right here. Yep, and here comes Molly. The cats always seem to be lurking around these areas with the power paws, so they know how important these totems are. A great treasure I carry. Are you worthy of it? Yes, of course we are. I shall judge that for myself. Answer my three riddles correctly and I may bestow my treasure upon you. What is the river span? An underground tunnel, a huge fallen tree, or a large stone bridge? I'm pretty sure Mare has told us that the river span is a large stone bridge because he always talks about making sure it's a still safe to cross. That is correct. All right, thank you very much, Mare. We might not have known that without your help. Which of the following fish do not live in our ocean? Sea bass, catfish, or mackerels? Well, thanks to the forest guardian, I'm pretty sure that the catfish don't live in the ocean. That is correct. What special place exists in the center of the wilderness? Oh, we know this already. That's the sacred temple. One of your friends already asked us that question. I believe that was the last totem we talked to. But we answer wisely and justly. My treasure belongs to you now. Nice. So two power paws in one day? That has to be uh, a record for Penny. Two power paws so close together. Oh, and hello, soldier. You don't look like the soldier we know and love. Well, maybe that means it's time for Penny to make her way back home. It is getting super late, super, super dark, and the Mystic Colony is not too happy that we're poking around their territory. So we'll curl up to sleep with Scout, maybe cross our fingers that today will be the day. Will we have our kittens? Nope. <laughs> oh, I am going to be holding my breath every single time we go to bed now. But Scow, as always, we have plenty of bunnies to feed you. Three fresh rabbits, in fact, from uh, the world itself. So we don't even have to break into your stash just yet. I think with three bunnies every single day, there's like no way that we could possibly get less than four kittens at this point. I really lucked out, Penny. You're the best. You talk to me, you bring me awesome gifts, you really care about me and it shows. Yes, yeah, Scout definitely seems to be very, very happy with all of our efforts. So I think we're gonna have some uh, pretty good luck, and not just because our lucky butterfly is following behind us. But there's some extra catnip that we are not going to roll around in today. We're actually saving this up for Alyssa later. We'll bring all of that catnip to her cats next time, because I feel like she's probably a little bit jealous of all of our gifts for the Mountain Domain. That might even be why she's trying to uh, push into our territory too. Maybe she doesn't want to see us getting cozy with Leo. But I hope the few scraps of food we manage to find out in the world will be enough to get us that inventory expansion. So Ember, if you wouldn't mind, I have a couple more things to uh, sell off to you. Let's see, we have our birds, we have our frogs, which are worth a little bit more than the regular mice. And then I suppose we could sell our snake lily too, but that is still not going to give us quite enough muse to uh, buy the expansion. We are super, super close though. I bet if we uh, go into a couple more of these battles, we'll probably have enough. And in fact, we'll want to uh, go visit that battle anyway, the one super close to the sacred temple. Because as always, the cats are trying to take over that area, and Penny is not going to let that stand. She wants to keep the forest guardian very well protected, so they can help by watching out for our kittens when they eventually leave the den. So it's typically always the mountain colony that we see over here. And it looks like uh, that is exactly what is knocking on our door today. Well, we'll use our Deep Cuts ability to hopefully chip away at some of these cats. They are absolutely everywhere. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't think we need to worry about using our Summon Allies skill for these two. This should be easy enough for Penny to take out on her own. There we go. The battle is won on the River Span too. Alright, so that is exactly what this is. This is what Mare always talks about when he uh, says he wants to check the bridge. I guess it's probably a good thing that he didn't come out here today, because I'm not sure if Mare would have been able to uh, stand up against all of those cats. 
I mean, I guess he must be pretty good at fighting because he is our leader. So surely he has a few tricks up his sleeve to make sure that he doesn't fall victim to our enemies. But look at Penny go. This is literally the best part of winter. I don't even know where she's heading right now, but I just like can't stop skating along the ice. It is way too much fun. She did skate directly into a bunny. All right, thank you very much, Amethyst. She must have lured that bunny in our direction with her shiny lucky wings. But now, thanks to uh, Penny's skating efforts, she has found another little morsel that apparently we weren't able to pick up before. And we should be right below the other battle, inside the mountain territory. So I guess this would technically be our cats invading their land. This time, the tables have turned. And it should be very, very easy for us to uh, take care of all of the cats in our way. There we go. Extra experience points and all. So do we have enough to increase our skills? Yeah, looks like we could probably increase our uh, diplomacy skill yet again. As long as it still takes 100 points to do so. There we go, so Diplomacy 3. Now it cools down in a 210 seconds, which sounds like quite a bit, but I'm sure it'll get us closer to our goal much faster. And Alex, you look quite a bit like Scout too. Howdy, Penny, what's new with you? All these cats from Scout's family are just like coming out of the woodwork. Uh-oh, and there's more cats coming after us now? I hear the battle music. But I don't see any cats. Oh, there they are, Panda and Bones. Well, I'm sorry, little guys, but you don't stand much of a chance with all of the cats that we have on our side. Since we were so successful here, we might as well use our diplomacy skills to try to take over a little bit more of this oak wood. And then why don't we head off toward the uh, left side of the territory? That way we can try to find some extra little berries to bring back home. I know there are tons and tons of winter berries by the fields out this way. And we could probably use some other types of berries to uh, feed our kittens anyway. We have a lot of blackberries, but not too many of the um, OGs. Not too many of the blueberries to spare. Oh, I think that bunny hopped off the screen. Penny needs to remember to use all of her skills. The minimap is a great way for her to see if there's any prey in the immediate area. And there is something directly above her. Are we going to get lucky? No, it's just a little mouse. Well, I guess this is good for us to eat instead. I'm having a little bit of trouble finding all those blueberries though. I don't think we've picked them yet because we haven't been up this way. We've been focusing on the highlands, so I'm not sure uh, where they may have run off to. Maybe the mountain domain picked them clean already? But I mean, I could have sworn that there were so many blueberry bushes up here. So I guess for now, we'll just have Penny return home because I do want to catch Ember before he goes in for the day, before he closes up shop. Wait a second. Okay, Marley was uh, kind of scoping out the area, trying to see if maybe he should jump in and try to fight us. We have Gunther up there under the tree. Oh, these cats were just lurking as we wandered through. One of them was even named Ninja, which is very fitting because these cats are literally coming out of nowhere. Oh my goodness. And the graveyard too, of all places, even another one. How many reinforcements are you going to send after us, Leo? We actually have to take some of our herbs after all of those battles. Thankfully, Penny's foraging skills are nothing to scoff at, so she should still be safe but I think it's about time for her to return home now. I think after that battle, she may have even missed Ember. Let's see if we can grab him before he goes in. Though it's going to be a miracle if we can, because I think he turns around. Oh no, I thought he went in at eight o'clock. Okay, maybe it's nine. Maybe we're safe. Or maybe he heard that we needed just a little bit of extra time. So we have enough Mews now, thanks to all of the uh, enemies that we ran into, to buy that next inventory expansion. So how many spaces are we going to have with our extra six slots? Oh, quite a bit more space. A whole nother row to pick up all of our treasures for our kittens. So I feel like we might as well share the wealth. Why don't we go ahead and offer up a little uh, golden seal to Doc, because we know that he really, really appreciates it especially now in this season. You know, I've talked with Mare once or twice recently. The cat's got a real mind for history if you couldn't tell. Yeah, he talked about this before too. 
they're actually thinking about taking their own little journey into some of the more important parts of the forest colony's history. I think it would be really interesting to uh, see what they managed to find. How am I supposed to stand out as the prettiest cat in the colony when I practically blend in with the snow? Maybe I'll get my fur dyed or something. So frustrating. Oh, that's why she wanted to dye her fur so badly. I mean, honestly, she probably could. I wonder if maybe she just doesn't have enough muse for it. Enough muse to get one of the special skins from Ember's shop. They are a little bit expensive, so maybe that's why she's always uh, asking Penny, always hinting that that's what she wants to do. If only we could donate to her cause. I hope our dens are ready for the cold. Got enough prey stocked up? You don't worry, Sarge, we actually have enough for ourselves, and we have enough for our kittens, too. It's nice to hear that he's thinking about us, though. Now that the due date is looming ever closer, it's not going to be much longer now before we all have new life to take care of. So let's cross our fingers for some extra luck in the next episode. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!